meet you. Four years ago, when this group of five seniors before you were freshmen, I came to Porter Gap and was extremely lucky to be given a fantastic advisory group comprised of high achievers and involved members of the Porter Gap family. Their intellect, spunk, and eagerness to learn wowed me four years ago, yet I am even more amazed by their accomplishments today. Little did I know, at the beginning of our time together, that one quiet individual from my study crew would rise to the top, and I am so honored to introduce him tonight. Upon meeting Matthew Key, I should have seen this coming, when he was quickly elected to the Honor Council as a freshman class representative. However, that Matthew, he's a sneaky one. A true leader he is, though he leads by example never calling attention to himself. Matthew is thoughtful, genuine, and fair, and has truly left his mark on Porter Gow through his work in countless groups and organizations. However, during advisory meetings, whenever I would ask Matthew what he was up to, he would never make mention of how busy he was preparing for numerous advanced level courses or creating his artwork, volunteering as a service leader, or leading the Watch Magazine staff and the Honor Council. Rather, when prompted, Matthew would humbly mention having spent some time in a tree stand or along the water's edge. Not being an outdoors woman myself, I will admit that I may not have understood this completely and may have worried at times. He's spending so much time hunting and fishing. How am I going to get this student engaged? Does he have enough school-related activities to write on his college resume? Where does he even want to go to college? I think we can all agree these questions were obviously quite foolish. Because what I have come to realize is that even though Matthew is a man of few words, he spends a considerable amount of time with his thoughts. You see, Matthew's time amongst nature is not idle in the least, but rather very purposeful. The tree stand or the banks of the water are the places where the gears of Matthew's remarkable mind are really turning. Spending quiet, reflective hours in these settings and involving himself in activities that will feed his soul are the times when Matthew has really been able to ponder the sciences and literature or contemplate life's challenges, figure out ways to make Porter Gowd a better place, or help those around him. I am in awe. Though this may come as a bit of a surprise to those who haven't had the chance to hear his voice very frequently, Matthew's English teacher, Dr. Lehman, described him as having a rare suaveness to his words. And after reading some of his work, I know it is true that when Matthew communicates, his message has been carefully crafted and his words are well worth a listen. And so, though it is honestly a bit intimidating to introduce such a fine wordsmith, it is a sincere privilege to present to you a student that embodies all of the best qualities that we each strive for in our lives, your Porter Gow 2016 salutatorian, Matthew Inman Key. Of the graduating seniors. While the memory of our very first day of elementary school is 
probably fuzzy to most of us, I'm sure it is embossed in your minds. The pain of our tender little fingers slipping away from yours as we choked off with our oversized backpacks cannot be compared to the tears that will swell in your eyes as we retreat inside our college dorms for the first time. Vulnerable to the outside world without your immediate protection. Don't be sad that this marks the beginning of the rest of our lives without your constant hovering. But rejoice that we've gotten this far. Never forget that this journey will be impossible without you. Our gratitude must also be extended to the teachers and faculty of Porter Young. The seven hours we spend with you five days a week, nine months a year, have secured you all this valued spot in our hearts. You watched us grow up to be individuals we are today over the last however many years and helped us achieve almost all of our academic goals. It will be bittersweet to say goodbye to you today, maybe a little more sweet than bitter for some, but nonetheless we thank you. Of course, I would like to take a minute to talk about how amazing all of the students are here. The class of 2016 is chocked full of untapped potential that will diffuse across the country in the coming months. Some will spread their knowledge as far as the west coast, others to the cold north of the sunny south, and even a few, or more than a few, to Clemson. <laughs> While we are all different in our own special way, we share one thread of unity, our experiences at Porter Gout. With a select few who have been here since first grade, Porter Gout is your home, a place where relationships have blossomed, intellect flourished, and passion is discovered. Even for those who have been here for only a few years in high school, Porter Gout has given you unforgettable memories. But this is it. After today, the experience is that the one place we have in common will be severed leaving only memories of the last few semesters as a friendly reminder for us. Now, I'd like to speak to my classmates. We're of course excited for college, but will offer us the opportunity to remake ourselves and pioneer our own futures. We don't entirely forget your past. The old lady leery chants at the football games, the watch prayer, or Coleman screaming dude man across the campus, walk over your mind at the most impromptu times and push you forth the nostalgia for what you have found here today. While we're all excited, let's remember after today that we will have finally entered the real world. But in actuality, that's not the case. There's no such thing as a new real world that magically conjures itself in your hand in your diploma, your middle use ceremoniously, or in your countless books at the end of the year. The only real thing we'll encounter in college is true independence. The school you attend in the fall doesn't necessarily define the rest of your life, your successes, or your sure failures. You, and you alone, are the captain of your own life and can make the best of it with hard work, determination, and responsibility. You can't coast through life like you've been riding in the passenger seat with family minivan anymore, saved by the mom arm from every subtle risk. It's only real in the sense that life during and after college will not be the idyllic fairy tale that we've all dreamed of. We will fail, we will make mistakes, and we will learn from them. If you don't mind, I'd like to close by perhaps extending the minivan metaphor. When compared to the real world, high school has been like learning to drive a car. Slow, cautious taps on the gas pedal, and then eventually more and more speed as you need your senior year. Until today, you've only been restricted by the omnipotent gates of your neighborhood, Porter Gallup for us, and have yet to encounter the boring highway that lies behind them. But as you ease up to the stop sign that offers you the ability to pause before graduating to the freeway, take a look at the wild road where everyone speedily zips by at unfathomable paces. You've been in the real world your whole lives, but now it's about to get real. Thank you.